What's up guys, welcome back to Jungle, back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the F30 once again. This is a build I've been trying to complete in less than two weeks. Mainly, there's a couple of reasons for it, which you guys will find out soon. One of them is because of an event that we're doing with my boy Johnny. Um, so that is something I wanna get done. And then the second thing is, we almost have all the parts we need for the new build. So I'm very, very, very excited to get that new build in the garage to show you guys what that is exactly. I've been having it in the backyard, just been ordering parts. I'm just waiting on three more things to come in that we can actually start assembling that car, which is super Super exciting. I hope you guys in the meantime enjoyed the F30 content. I hope you guys will like the way it looks in the end. I hope you guys will like the transformation. Um, the F30 is just something I've been wanting to build for a very long time and I figured this is probably a good time to build it in between um, trying to get some new parts for this new build and you know, it just it just works. So I'm able to film content, I'm able to do things for you guys um, and at the same time, you know, keep myself productive and occupied um, rather than just sitting in my house waiting for parts to come in for the new build. So all that being said guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video and finish up the front end of this F30, it's gonna look so good. All right guys, so we finally got pretty much 90, well I guess 90% of the car complete and it's looking so, so, so good. Again, honestly, uh, camera doesn't really make it justice. It looks very classy and elegant in person. Absolutely love it. It's definitely a different color. I love the black accents. We left the black mirror caps, the black roof, the black door uh, handles. Um, I think it just looks really, really, really good. Um, I definitely wanna get some more carbon fiber on this car so it adds a little more contrast to it. Um, in terms of these little fender pieces right over here for the M3s, I just left a D badge for now because again, we're not putting any M3 stuff on here. Ain't happening. Uh, but in the meantime, we have the M Sport bumper, the last piece, the most difficult piece to wrap on any car. Let's go ahead and just start prepping that thing and wrapping that thing because I cannot wait to see this car fully put together. Guys, just getting these grills off made us both break a sweat. <laughs> At least we know when we put them on, they're gonna like. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna hold on. all the wrap. And we, and we didn't want to skip out on that step. We we're gonna just leave the grills on at first and just wrap in it like to the edge. But the thing is, if they start peeling back, it's gonna suck later. If we can get the wrap around the back, and then when you put the grill on, it kind of holds the wrap. That's the best way to do it. Now they pretty much got the whole bumper pretty much prepped up. I mean, thankfully this is not a used bumper. This is a brand new bumper. Again, from Keys Motorsports, if you guys want any of your M Sports stuff. Uh, we're gonna go ahead at this point, uh, just turn around, give it one more wipe down, and then do the inlays first. The inlays is probably the most important thing. Doing the inlays first makes it look a lot cleaner than doing inlays after. Plus if you do inlays after, um, if you try to do a power wash, you'll actually pretty much like rip it off. While if the inlays were in there to begin with, and then you lay the primary wrap over, it, the power wash is not actually going to chip anything. So just from experience, um, inlays first. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go ahead, move this bumper over and get that stuff done.
front bumpers on there fully complete i'm just so happy to see this entire car in one color we do have two gloss black grills from keys motorsports let's go ahead and slap those two bad boys in Grills are on there. I think the next thing you have to knock out is the taillights. <laughs> oh my God, that looks so good. This car definitely needs a front lip. I did have a little imperfection right down here. Um, and there's a few little imperfections on the edges down there as well. So if I get a front lip on there, it's gonna fix that. I'm not a professional rapper, but um, yeah, I just, uh, I do the best I can. And I, I enjoy the process and I think the car is do for the most part look a lot better. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and knock out the GTS taillights. You have to put the outer taillights in and then actually wire it to the inner taillights and get everything kind of sorted up. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get the outer taillights in so we can get them all connected and they'll be finally working properly. As you guys can see, I'm in the exact same outfit, mainly because I already predicted the future and I knew, I knew for a fact, this thing's gonna look absolutely insane. Just check it out. Let me know down below guys what you guys actually think of the transformation. Is it what you guys expected? Is it better? Is it worse? I mean, I know a lot of you guys said that it looks like poop, but <laughs> I think it looks super sick. End of the day, this is something completely unique. I think it's a very, very, very classy color, especially for an F30. I don't know if I would like it on a 435, but on an F30, it just really hits the spot for me. So I'm very happy with this color. Very happy with how the build has been going so far. Something I've been meaning to put on ASAP um, at this point is just the exhaust. You have to see a cable's kind of sticking down there right now and that's because we don't actually have the valve hooked up for the exhaust system we have the afe exhaust for the f30 it's a dual exit exhaust to pretty much look like a 335 exhaust which is going to look way more proportional it's going to look so much better we have the carbon fiber diffuser we have the rear m sport bumper it's just going to look so good and i'm super excited for it i honestly can't really drive the car until i get that on the car too um so i probably should have done that you know sooner in the build because i really want to take it out and get you guys some rollers i'm going to be doing that hopefully soon probably in the next video um but as of today i don't really want to drive it because again where the exhaust is pretty much cut, if I go ahead and start flooring it and driving it, um, I could melt the tabs for the rear bumper and then possibly even the wrap for the rear bumper and I'm completely out of wrap as well. So I don't wanna, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin anything. But yeah, that being said, hopefully next video guys, this thing is gonna be 100% for the most part complete, um, uh, you know, for a two week transformation. It's gonna be a great daily driver. Um, it's something that you guys are gonna see me post on Instagram, something you guys are gonna see me take to LA. Um, gets great fuel economy. It's just a really good looking daily now, which I'm super excited about. Plus it's gonna have some little goodies that's gonna help us enjoy the car. We have Apple CarPlay and all that other good stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very, very happy in how it's become. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, it's gonna have to conclude this video. Again, next video is probably gonna be the last video that's gonna be focusing on the F30. Um, the video after that is probably gonna either shift to the E91 M3 um, because we're finally gonna be you know, getting back to that or it's gonna be the new build that I'm gonna be introduced to the channel. So it's gonna be one of those. So yeah, good things to come. But without further ado, it's gonna have to conclude this video. So all of y'all so much remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.